Welcome back. This is the third dungeon in Davillion. You open it up around level 20. I'm in here at 22 because I tried to go earlier and I wasn't able to access it. It wouldn't let me in. This is the second time I'm running this and you'll see the comparison numbers at the end. This is the main mechanic here where you have to destroy these objects otherwise mobs will keep spawning. So what about Davillion? Let's just get the elephant out of the room. This is a game that's made by the same people that make Terra and it's published by Treon Worlds. When people hear Treon Worlds, they think, oh my God, Rift, and then more recently, Arcage. And it's a negative reaction. Arcage was very promising, but changes were made to the game that players strongly disagreed with. With Rift, that's going way back. I was there, that, that, that first event that just, ugh. And they never came back from it, never came back from it. But it was a bold, a bold move, and I gotta give them credit for that with their, you're not an Azeroth anymore. The business decisions that they make, they remind me of Google. Google is one of those companies that has a lot of money, comes up with great ideas, and then implement them all wrong. And you'd think, with all that money, they could hire the best people to have the most badass implementations of everything, and it just doesn't work that way. Treon Worlds reminds me of that. They come up with a good idea, and then the implementation is wrong. And I think that Arc Age is a good example of that, although because they didn't make the game, they didn't have the freedom to, you know, I'm assuming in the decision-making process, because if you don't own it, well, you know, you have limited say on, on what happens. So I understand the hesitation when it comes to this game, because it looks good in the beginning, sucks you in, and then, boom, you know? Uh, so does that mean you shouldn't try it? My suggestion is that you try it, but don't spend any money on it until you're satisfied. And I'd say this with any company. Don't pay until you know that your money is being spent wisely. I don't know what it is about gaming that uh, gamers are willing to throw their money without properly researching based on emotion. If you're not willing to do that in other areas and aspects of your life, don't do it in gaming either. Let game developers prove themselves to you. Make them earn it. So what I suggest with Treon Worlds, it's going to be free to play. Free to play, not buy to play, free to play. So when it comes out, download it, give it a shot. Check and see what's happening with the game. So far, right now, it does not look like it's buy to play. As I showed in a previous video, everything that you would basically buy in the store, you are able to get in game. It's not even really buy for convenience, really. So I think as it is right now, there's a good balance. That doesn't mean that that's not subject to change. When you have some bad decisions behind you, you need to expect caution. You deserve that caution because you've earned it. So I want to be clear about that. You've earned that caution based on previous decisions. So that's what my thoughts are on this. And any game, be cautious and see what happens. This game is supposed to release before the end of the year. So it's right around the corner. And so far, like I said, I was surprised by the, uh, that I end, ended up enjoying the game. Now there is something that it, a little pet peeve that it does have that I, I guess I could talk about. I've said many times in previous videos, I don't like being sent to the same place over and over. You know, you send me to a spot, fine, let me kill things, then send me to another spot. Don't send me back and back and back. This game is good at that. And the, the areas are very, the maps for the areas are small. The mobs are very, are very tight in this one area. So you get sent back right away. Now here's where I make my disastrous error. Now you see here, right now, there's no uh, posts in here where the, you have to kill the, 
the object. You have to destroy the object. You can see there's none here. Somewhere in the middle of this fight, they spawn. And I forgot about that. So ads start coming out of nowhere. And, um, and that was the Davillion form. So ads start coming out of nowhere. And uh, it's like, where the hell? And then it's like, oh, well, I forgot about that. So in the middle of this fight, these totems pop up and it's like a phase and yeah, yeah, so that's what happens. So anyway, um, the areas in the, when you're uh, questing are very small. They're very tight and compact, which is fine. That I have no problem with. But when you keep sending me back to that same little small spot, then that's see okay here we go it tells you and i just didn't even pay attention you can see it spawn there i just didn't pay any attention to it because i guess that's how i roll so anyway that i have a problem with and that's where it gets a little old to me but as you can see from my level like i said the questing experience you level very quickly and that aid you in being able to you know excel through areas quickly so i didn't feel i never felt like oh my god i've been in this area too long never felt that which is a plus i still haven't figured it out i know horrible then it's like oh, oh my god there it is can you believe it so my grade in this would have been better if I had actually paid attention to the things on the screen and I destroyed the totems when I was supposed to. So how will this dungeon be with people? Good question. I'm curious how this scales because looking at this, yes, it's a, a more challenging uh, mechanic than what I experienced in previous dungeons, but it seems pretty easy. Uh, so I'm assuming that the difficulty scales, maybe more mobs or whatnot, as more people are in the dungeon. <laughs> oh God. I look at this and I think um, gamers should do this every once in a while. Look back at your, you know, record going through a dungeon, particularly if you're raiding um, or, uh, doing dungeon runs in your guild, record yourself and see, because logs only tell you so much. For me, I'm a visual person, so seeing me make these little mistakes is how I try to improve, and I just decided I am tanking your ass because I'm sick of you. <laughs> so... It clears, and you'll see my score here. And I did shave six minutes off from the other one, and I got a B. And I was able to spin the wheel. In my first one, I wasn't. When you get a C, you don't really, you don't spin the wheel. So in my next, in the previous ones, you can see here. So there seems like there's diminishing returns when you run the dungeons. So... Okay, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.